Hello everyone, I'm JP Danko from BlurMediaPhotography.com and this is a tutorial video for DIYPhotography.net. Recently I've been using a tool called the Syrup Genie uh, to shoot a lot of time-lapse sequences. And the Genie is really an amazing tool for time-lapse because it allows you to run your whole time-lapse sequences right from the Genie. What I think is the best feature of the Genie altogether is that you're not limited by any sort of length of the dolly, which means that you can run really long distance cable cam time lapse sequences with the Genie as well. But in order to do that, you need a cable cam cart to mount your Genie on. So that's what I'm going to do in this tutorial video is build my own DIY cable cam cart. To get started, I'm going to show you some of the uh, materials that I've picked up that I'm going to use to build my cart out of. Broken hockey sticks, 100 meter of Kevlar rope, 550 pound rated uh, paracord, steel brackets and nuts and bolts and screws and steel channels for pulleys, some smaller ones, two fence hinges and I cut a slot down one, fit them together and then had a friend weld them. So I'm going to hang my camera uh, from this and it'll allow my camera to hang to pivot but it won't allow it to twist so that way while my cable cam is running along the cables it's always going to be level no matter what orientation the actual cart is on altogether the materials probably cost me 100 150 dollars or so so now it's time to start building my horizontal uh, cable cam set up now. I just did a test run of 50 meters and it worked pretty well. I should mention how I've got the exterior cables um, set up. So at the far end of the run is the this cable on the left is tied to a hockey stick. It comes down runs to the far end of this run where it goes through a pulley goes across and then another pulley and goes all the way back where it's tied. So that way I can tension these by just pulling on one side. I don't have to tension either each one. And it also makes sure that both of the exterior cables have the same amount of tension in it. Out in the field, I've got my cable cam cart set up and ready to go. I built two wooden frames, one at either end of the run. They're about 200 feet apart with the cable stretched between them. Over the 200 foot run, I shot about 800 to 900 photos per sequence. When I look at the finished footage, I think that it would have been better to take two or three times the number of photos, which would have given me more options to slow the footage down, and it would have also helped with stabilization in post-production. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how the footage turned out. Hopefully I've inspired you enough to build your own cable cam cart. I really think that it is a pretty powerful tool that allows you to create video footage from a very unique and interesting vantage point. And if you do build one, make sure to leave a comment and let us know how it went. 